today's morning minute, intimidation is the tool of the enemy. The enemy, the devil, wants to kill and destroy you, your family, your attitude, your faith, your testimony, and your peace. The devil uses intimidation. You are of your father the devil. And this is, this is Jesus speaking in John 8, verse 44. And your will is to do your father's desires. Let me read that again. You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. The enemy will use every tool possible to get you to become an ineffective, ineffective witness for Jesus Christ. He will use every tool to stop you from receiving the victory which comes from Jesus Christ. He wants you to walk in defeat and regret. He wants you to take that action, deed, mistake, mis, uh, misspeak, uh, misspoken word, and bad attitude and exploit it into guilt and shame. Have you ever read a lawsuit? Lawsuits are accusations used to bring fear, condemnation, and intimidation. An attorney composes the accusation document filled with fear, intimidation, and guilt. The enemy of God is a liar. He came to still kill and destroy. He cannot tell the truth. He's like a lawyer filling, filing a lawsuit against you. The devil drafts the document of intimidation to get you to believe you're inadequate, guilty, and ashamed. In 1 Peter 5, verses 8 and 9, we read, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. That's 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9. Your enemy prowls the playground of your mind. This is why it is important to continually wear the armor of God so you can withstand the enemy's attack on you. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes, the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, 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 take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having done all, all to stand firm, stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes for your feet having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints. Ephesians 6, verses 11 and 18. Go in peace today, knowing that the enemy has been defeated and you have power over the enemy in Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.